Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'd like to show you how I made the Vinta Flowy Top, which is basically a reincarnation of my previous Flowy Top, which is rather popular, the Hanari Top. A lot of you guys have been asking me to restock it, but I'm sorry, I just can't find the fabric anymore. So, this time though, I found um, another fabric that is just about perfect for the design as well. And I like its colors, they're, they're very summery, and it reminds me of the Vinta, this uh, boat that you can only find in the southernmost part of my country, the Philippines. So, yeah. This pattern basically is just from the Hanari top, which I'm cutting right now. It, it's composed of two parts, and you can basically just make your own. You That's, that's the lining there that doesn't reach to the back because it's stretchy. It's, you're supposed to use a stretchy fabric and then this time I'm showing you how I um, uh, drape the main fabric that covers, that's used as the front of the top. Sorry, I'm babbling right now because I don't have a script and I had to provide this um, narration soon so that I can upload and share it with you guys over the weekend. Alright, so, and there I'm showing you just how those linings, necklines should match, alright? So let us now go to tracing, which is just basically just using your favorite pencil there. Um, for this fabric, I'm using the best parts, the best, the best parts of the print, so that the front fabric will look awesome, at least to me. And then I'm using for the lining, I'm using that part that is not so exciting. Yes, the uh, beige part, I guess. Yep for the lining sorry I'm just gonna be talking about anything right now so as I look into my video we have now our two parts which I think I will be securing first with um, our trusty pins so that I think I'm trying to secure the peak points so that they don't move around while I baste it because I do a lot of prep work for my sewing and this is I know this is like sometimes it's unnecessary maybe for really really skillful people but for me I need to put in my pins and before I baste and then I baste before I sew and that's me and I hope you understand there you go I think I'm done for after a million minutes and then yeah I'm now basting it because that's me baste 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 because I'm not really that much chummy with my sewing machine I'm not really good at it but I had to be good at it so I had to prepare well you know I don't have anything to say really right now that's why I'm just all right so we're done with the basting and it's sewing time oh yeah I have nothing to say really except that oh yeah that part if you don't know that strategy that trick that part when I inserted a, a thread I mean um, a needle just to pull the peak part of the curve or the mountain of what I'm sewing you should find that in one of my videos here in YouTube so yeah I think I'm done 
with connecting the lining in the main fabric. So we will be connecting next the back, the center back of both the lining and the main fabric. So that's me putting in a bajillion of pins because I want to make sure they don't run while I sew. Yeah. So there it is. 148 pins before I sew. Very dramatic, isn't it? Because I don't have anything to say really. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. So I basically connected the back part. I think the next part will be... I'm trying to anticipate so that I have some filler things to say here. Oh, yeah. So we have to trim off the extra fabric of the neckline. So that they don't be... They don't look... They don't bulge. Sorry, I, my my English is not my modern mother tongue. So, and yeah, I think what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to just stick together the back line, the lining, and the main fabric at the back, and then I'm trying to press the neckline so that. They look nice and all. See, I'm having language, sign language of sort going on. Next would be, I will, I think, yeah, that's what I was trying to say, guys. Let us now kind of like put together or like, you know, connect or join oh gosh that's the term that's the word i was looking for join the center back and the center back is composed of the lining and the f the main fabric of course what else so if you don't mind me ch chatting here for no reason you can just look into the video and turn off the volume guys i'm so sorry so there you go i'm I think I'm trying to sew from the middle parts through the mid parts so that they my my sewing my hand sewing won't be visible enough so yeah I think I'm gonna be showing you the result later so pl please bear with me mm -hmm. yeah almost there guys Almost there. Yeah. Hurry up, Shannon. Hurry up. Oh. Oh, so I'm doing two parts. Yes. The top part and the bottom part. And I, I can't even understand why I have to like do two parts when I can just do continuous sewing from top to bottom. But I think I'm doing this for a reason and you will know later. But you don't have to follow what I do here. My videos are for your inspiration. I'm not teaching you to do it my way. Okay? So yeah, I think I'm, I'm done. Yay! I'm done with that part. And we're gonna be proceeding with the... Let's proceed with the... Yeah! Basting of the hem. We're going to be basting the entire circle just like that and yay, that's it. And we're going to be sewing them with the real deal. My little sewing machine that I bought in 2009 but started using in 2010. <laughs> I have nothing to say, I'm sorry. I'm tr this time I'm trying to like pull out threads that are showing on the front part of the fabric so that I can just like knot them at the back. Okay, please bear with me. But I think yes, that's what I'm doing right now. 
sorry for the focus or the bad focus. I'm just using my cheap phone recording this. So there it is. I think I like locked the hem. Next would be putting on the beads that you can see in the front for her um what do you call that? Um straps, yes. For that you will need you will need any kind of strap, but I'm using an elastic cord of sorts, a couple of them. And then some beads. You can use any bead of your liking. So I'm not sure if I've already shared how to grab um, small straps or insert straps into very na narrow areas, but this is how I do it. You just you just use a, a bigger needle, and of course there's a thread on it, and then you basically insert the the whole part oh my god i don't even know the the terms used but you basically insert the whole side of the needle so that when it pops on the other side like so there's like the thread there that can grab your strap boom there it is you guys there's the strap now on the other side. Now you will do that again. So that. Sorry. I'm basically. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm inserting again that whole part of the needle so that I can expose the thread. And the thread is used to grab the other end of the strap there it is i hope you do get what i mean because i'm sorry i'm no professional i'm not trained to become a seamstress i'm not uh like a school tailor of sorts i'm i'm totally self-taught and all these techniques i just learned from doing things on my own sitting in this dark corner of the world anyways so with just the same technique, guys, you insert that whole part of the needle into into the whatever it is that you want to put in. And that's what I used to with the beads. Look at that. If you can see that, you're awesome. Because my camera is just not that good for YouTube videos. I know that. But I need to share. Oh, yeah. And you will need a glue so that you can, like lock the two beads near that or the yeah you know that peak part of the neckline yeah that's that's what i'm doing right now see this is the same method i did with a canary top but what i used back then for that top was um, um, I think those were embroidery um, threads I like them be because they're so soft and they're satiny they're silky so they're perfect for like straps and all but I just used um, elastics this time because I wanted to try it <laughs> I'm sorry Ah, there it is. So I did the same thing. Wow, that was fast. Okay. So I did the same thing on the other side of the strap. So you can see now that I have two straps. So we are going to be working on, on that back part. Ooh, we're almost there. Same old strategy, which is use the bigger needle with the thread that... Um, Yeah, let's you grab there. You insert anything that you want to grab and then like that. Like so, I hope. 
I hope you just really get what I'm trying to say here. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to really get the right um, measurement for this. I got, I think I start with three centimeters, but then again, when I try it on my doll, I keep on readjusting that I really don't know how long it is from the neckline to the back. If you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, just comment on the comments. Just place a comment on the comments or whatever, however it is that it's said here on YouTube and ask me anything because really I don't want to anticipate everything because I've been thinking too much you guys and hey okay so where were we so now see I told you guys I keep on adjusting so you basically follow what you want okay don't follow what I say just these are just for inspiration purposes you can do anything you want for your design so what I'm trying to do here is again use that needle to pull and grab the ends of the yeah the elastic threads there so that when I pull it pull both of them down there I will be able to knot them like I will be doing in a minute I guess let's see I'm not bored, I'm just, I just really don't have anything to say. So there you go. Um, it has the right measurements, I guess. Her boobs are not showing. Um, she's a, she looks fine with it. So yeah, I had it nothing. And we're done. Grab your favorite shorts or skirt, I guess. I'm a shorts girl, so I'm grabbing shorts. And I think we're done. Yeah, 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 we're done. Finally, that's the Hanari top that I was talking about earlier. I know you guys liked it, but I'm sorry, I just can't find a fabric anymore. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Um, thanks to my husband for setting up that awesome vacuum tube level audio earlier. And right now, I'm using my phone. Um earphones but i think that's okay so thank you so much bye bye